They have acknowledged that the things I write unto you are what? The commandments of the Lord. Acts 1, 4 and John 14, 15. That's what he's talking about. That was to pray in the Spirit. But if any man be ignorant, just let him be ignorant. <laughs> he got it pretty well cut and dry, didn't he? Verse 39. Wherefore, brethren, talking to the church, brethren, one. Remember the two operations? One. Covet to prophesy and what? Two. Forbid not to speak with tongues. Why? Because the enemy is out there to disarm you. Do not let him disarm you. That's the reason why he says in verse 39, Forbid not to speak with tongues because Satan tries to disarm you because he does not want you nor the church to have any power. How many are not going to let the devil disarm them this morning? You better believe it. Okay, one more scripture and then we quit. How many of you know that we are in the last days? You knew this was going to come, didn't you? <laughs> Hallelujah. Second Timothy chapter 3. And this is our last scripture. Second Timothy chapter 3. Beginning with verse 1. Hallelujah. Beginning with verse 1. Chapter 3 of Second Timothy. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Now how many of you know that we are in the last days? How many of you know that we are in perilous times? Okay. Verse 2. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. I just read the menu for the 6 o'clock news. Didn't I? Yeah, man, believe it. But look at this, verse 5. A sign of the last days. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. My dear people, if you are in a church or involved in a church that does not operate in the power of the Holy Ghost, in the anointing of the Holy Ghost, in the ability of the Holy Ghost, in the authority of the Holy Ghost, run. Run. And run hard. Because we are in perilous times and it's going to get worse. And if you aren't filled with the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, and, and, and operate in that ability and that authority, hard and tough times are going to hit you. You better believe it. Hallelujah. You see, the Holy Ghost is the power in the church. And the devil wants to do what? Disarm the church. He wants to disarm the church. Hallelujah. Jesus said in John's Gospel, chapter 7, verses 37 through 39, we won't turn to it, but He said, He that believeth on Me, how many believers we got? He that believeth on Me, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Amen? Hallelujah. Y'all stand with me, please. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.